Oh, I thought you were going to ask me who's my favorite leading man in you my life. You can answer life. that one too. <laughs> my favorite leading man is Lily Tomlin. <laughs> has to do with her growing up in Detroit, I can tell you. She lived in an apartment building and she, you know all those kids, well, I don't know, maybe, how many of you have seen Lily do a one-woman show? Um, I, I don't take, I don't use this word very often. Lily is a genius. Lily can play 20 different characters in one night in a, in a play that her partner, wife of 50 years, <laughs> Jane Wagner, in search of signs of intelligent life in the universe. Yeah. All these different characters, I think they all lived in the apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> and she, you know, she, you all don't know this, but I've spent years sitting next to her, getting her to talk. And she would just wander the apartment building, and they were, and then she would describe the characters mm -hmm. in, in all of, and she loved those people. That's what I love about her. She loves them. This woman who thought she was gonna, that Lily would become somebody important, and she taught her how to be a lady, how to use a handkerchief, mm -hmm. you know, and how to, put, <laughs> Lily, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and then Lily, she worked in a hospital, on the pediatric floor. It's a famous hospital in Detroit. I can't remember the name of it. But the, she would do this. She, would, she was in charge of like, they'd bring the trays in and then take the trays away when they were, and so they'd take all the linens and she'd wrap them in, in like, she'd walk through the waiting room, <laughs> down the corridors, talking to what looked like a baby, and then she'd open the linen chute and dump it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the, my story is about. And well, do, there's plenty of stories about Dolly, too. But that, that, that's not nine to five. No, that's nine to five. That's not Raisin Frankie. Mm. Well, I saw Dolly Moon Kenny Rogers' house once. <laughs> I'll tell you how Dolly Parton ended up in nine to five, okay? Yeah. It's, it was going to be a kind of a dramatic movie because I have a friend whose day job, she was part of the anti-war movement with me and her day job was organizing women office workers and she would tell me these stories of what they had to put up with and I said, I'm going to make a movie about this. Mm -hmm. And it was going to be a serious movie. But then I saw Lily Tomlin in this show that I just mentioned and I felt, I just was smitten. And I thought, I'm not going to make a movie about secretaries unless Lily's in it. And then I got stoned. <laughs> driving home and I turned on the radio and it was two doors down it was that song of Dolly's two doors down and she was singing and I suddenly I got this image of Dolly sitting at a typewriter she can't see her fingers <laughs> and I thought well she's never been in a movie but it doesn't matter, I just know she's gonna be good. Okay, we'll make it a comedy. We turned it into a comedy. Took me a year to convince Dolly and Lily to do it, but that's how it ended up. I was the producer, so that's why I could make these kind of decisions. <laughs> Um, thank you for sharing those little tidbits for us at the end. And I, too, am a big fan of your leading man, Lily Tomlin. So appreciate those stories. Um, can we get a huge round of applause for Jane Fonda? Ticket. Woo! Yeah. Woo! And go